The solar output of sodium chloride is brought to you with limited commercial interruption by SeatGeek. With the NFL season officially underway, this app is sure to be a trusty ally. It takes all of the tickets available on the resale market and aggregates them to make sure you're getting the best value. Look at these features. It sorts all tickets from red to green on a 1 to 100 scale. It gives you a view from where you'll be sitting. You can even get scanned into games from the app. For further advantage, use the code word TREE to save $20 off your first purchase. This year may be full of surprises, but SeatGeek is as constant as the world spins. And now for our feature presentation. Do you hear that? That sweet, serene nectar to the ears. No trauma. No more pain. No more anguish. No more days of our Steelers. I can finally relax. I can sit back and laugh at the Raiders. He's your problem now, boys. <sighs> I wonder who the Steelers are playing in their first game. Fuck. If there's one thing I will say, thank God Pittsburgh got rid of Antonio Brown when they did. Remember when everyone was laughing at the Steelers? I remember. We all do. I never complained about the return, since such is the price you pay for the cancer tax. Oh, the threats to retire, blowing up the coaches, pure schadenfreude. Mwah. We tried warning you all. You said we were overblowing everything. A team with structure will fix him. Guess what? They cut him. They released his fucking ass. I told you. I told you all. I fucking told you. The Steelers just won the Super Bowl and all it cost us was $21 million in dead cap. Party time, baby! With this premature celebration of the Yinzer in his habitat, something sinister was bubbling. The seismic activity would shake the very core of his fandom. What? The Steelers had no longer won the Super Bowl. He signed with the fucking Patriots? Fuck! Fuck! Why does God hate us? Antonio Brown to the Patriots? The team the Steelers are always at least two steps behind on any given Sunday? Do you understand they have to go into Foxborough and deal with their Super Bowl presentation and now this? I mean, at least he won't play, but you know what? I not only hope the Steelers win, I hope they fucking crush them. Hearing their misery will warm my cold, salty heart to a boil. Do this and all the drama of the past few years will be forgiven. It would take a bit for this to become reality. The pregame ceremony needed to commence, in which they would flex. And flex. And flex. They needed to show the world who was the true king of the gridiron. And that would continue on the field of play. And he hoped that the black and gold brigade out of winning was quickly vanquished. It wasn't just a defeat. It was a massacre. Seriously? You've had how long to prepare for this game? Isn't this supposed to be your hypothetical Super Bowl? Your chance to reassert yourselves among the elite? What the hell happened? It's like I'm seeing two entirely different teams out there. Like I truly didn't expect them to win, but I'd at least figured they'd make it competitive. They got straight up pantsed on national television. And worse, it's against New England. Fucking New England. The one team that the Steelers have never been able to beat when it truly mattered. The one boogeyman that has haunted this team's dreams for about 20 years. And you lay down and die. I don't understand it. When did the play calling suddenly get so conservative? Screens and tosses on third down? Look, I know you lost your best wide out in Juju's on a literal fly trap, but what happened to Vance McDonald? Dude was a wrecking ball last year and you threw to him once. At the end of the game. That Patriots defense flat out toyed with you all game long. There was no chance. Hold up, let me look something up here. Oh my god, I'm Dante Moncrief! This is the big free agent signing to replace Antonio, so force the ball so we can drop it like it's hot about six damn times. What's that, Mr. Tomlin? You're going to kick a field goal at the one-yard line? Aren't you supposed to be one of the more aggressive coaches in football? There are times when kicking a field goal near the goal line makes sense. In the first quarter or with a lead. This was the third quarter and you were down by 20. You need points. You need a lot of them. Going conservative is the last thing you should be doing. Perhaps you should do that for your defense. That was getting fucking torched all game long. Man coverage, don't have the talent for it. Zone D, Brady eats that shit for breakfast. Julian Edelman doing his thing, have Bud Dupree cover him. The most disturbing part? The only missing piece was Sean Davis. This is your full strength defense. The Patriots technically should have had even more points than they did. If there's one play that symbolizes this game, it's this. Ball start. False start, everyone except the center. The entire league is moving, but the Steelers missed the snap and just held position. 
and they paid dearly for it. I know it's only one game, and I have this foolish hope that they have a chance at the wild card, but this was a pretty symbolic loss. It's two different franchises on two differing paths. One with the riches and the other looking enviously at them. Call me salty because I technically am. Is it a problem that I expected this team to at least look competitive? And now the team that beat them got Antonio Brown. Enjoy those rape allegations though, New England. Thank God we got rid of him when we did.